So at first, the first couple tutorials, I showed you guys how to just use this function called pack and it packs them in there, pretty much just places them on your screen and you had some control over it. I mean, you can put stuff on top of each other and to the left and to the right, but it doesn't give you a lot of control to say exactly where you want to pack it in. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use a new type of layout. It's called the grid layout and it's a lot more intuitive because what you can do is you can line up your widgets in rows and columns and then if you say something, okay, put this in the first row, second column, it's really easy to understand instead of just trying to go in your brain and say, pack this in somewhere. So that's why it's my favorite, easy to use, super easy to understand. So let's get started. So before I show you guys how to organize stuff, we probably need some stuff to organize. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make two labels and two entry widgets. And it's going to be kind of like a login screen where you have your name, we'll say it's like a username and um, like your password or something, who knows. So of course we need something to say name and password. Of course, whenever we wanna write text, we just use a label. So I'll make two labels. We already know how to make these, very simple. And we'll just pack these right in the root. We won't make any frames or anything. And the text for this one can just be name. Make it as easy as possible. All right, so we got name appearing on the screen and let's make another label and this one can be for the uh, the password, we'll say. All right, so we got two labels. Now, this is probably the most uh, easiest way I can explain it. Whenever you wanna use, um, whenever you wanna allow the user to enter like a simple number or maybe just like uh, their name or password or anything, you have to use something called entry and it's the same thing as an input in web design, pretty much just a blank single line of a text form or text field. So I'm just gonna store this in the variable entry one. And how you make these is you just write entry. That pretty much means give me a blank field where the user could type something in. And of course, where do you wanna put it? Well, it's gonna display right in our main window. So of course we need one for the name and one for password. So right now we have two little text prompts and two little input fields. Simple enough. So now that we got that crap, I'll show you guys how to organize it. Now remember, think of this like an Excel sheet. Pretty much we have rows that go left and right and columns that go up and down. Now by default, if you don't specify one, it's just going to assume the first. So if we just put um, row two and that's it, it's going to assume it's the first column. So let's go ahead and place these labels first. Now in order to place anything, just write what do you want to place, just the label, and how do you want to place it? Well we're not packing it in anymore, remember. We're actually using this new type of layout to organize stuff and it's called the grid layout. Now it says, okay, well where on the grid do you want me to put it? Well just put it at row zero. Now you can also have something like this column equals zero but remember that I said by default the column is always equal to zero unless you explicitly change it so there's no need to have that now for the next label label two what we want to do is we want to put this label under it so the name's going to go on top so that's why we have it in row zero and the label two is going to go in row one so right under it pretty much just like you see right here this is going to be on top, this is going to be on bottom. Now, what we need to do after this is position those entries, those inputs. So remember, this is on top and this is on bottom of the first column. Well, we want to put this entry to the right, like right here, and the second entry to the right of that. So text prompt, input, text prompt, input. So let me get rid of those. And of course, you guys can probably figure out how to do this. So entry one, grid, well, where we want this to go is in the same row, but we actually want to go in the second column. And remember, since computers start counting as zero, that's column one. So in this one, for entry two, which is the second input, of course, this is gonna go in row one, 
which is down one, and also in column number one, which is the second column. So now we can actually run this right now and check it out. And that just moved my freaking screen recorder. That's not what I wanted to grab. She wanted, actually, let me make sure that's in the. All right. So again, this is label one, name, and that's in row zero, the first row, and its entry right here is in the second column, so column one, and row zero as well. So I know that's kind of confusing, zero, one, but you know, if, uh, just remember that computers start counting as zero and you'll get used to it. So anytime you want to put something in the second column, column one, boom, simple enough. Now there are a couple of things that annoy me a little bit right here. And first of all, that's this. If you look in this first column,